Hello everybody, welcome back to Tim Man Collections. And today I got another knife to show you guys. Now, usually I'm doing my knife uh, overview on the table outside, but I thought I'd do it inside today. But then we'll go outside and do some shopping testing with it. But if you guys haven't seen my short, I bought this over from uh, Donnie B. All Day on YouTube. So this is going to be a dedication to him. So shout out to you, Donnie B. All Day. And uh, it's a Timberwolf claim staker buoy. So already off the bat, I dig the design of this when I saw it when he had his knife sale. And I said, yeah, I better grab it before somebody else did. So, And it almost reminded me of the uh, Cold Steel uh, Frontier buoy. Because the way the buoy is designed and right here. It's got a similar S-guard and handle. So, let's see what we got here. The blade is 7 and 3 fourths or 3 quarters. Uh, it's made out of 3CR13 stainless steel and it's a clip point buoy style. And it's got a black non-reflective finish coating on here and it's also got a choil. Now, I watched Donnie's review on this knife and I agree with him so far because uh, you put your hand right here right near the choil. It kind of, you kind of touch the blade a little tad bit but it's not too bad. But uh, so far it feels good in my hand actually. It was sort of blocky but it don't feel bad at all it feels comfortable in my hand but uh i'm gonna go take this outside and show you guys what this thing can do but anyway also it's got light brown wooden handle scales which you already seen and it's got um, a hefty guard now i don't know what that guard is made out of some sort of stainless steel maybe or but it's coated in that black stuff and then um, and it's also the, the the scales are attached to the tang with heavy strong screws. And the sheath now I'm gonna say the sheath is alright, but I'd rather go with a leather sheath with this thing. And plus, look at that. It's got the Velcro snap on here, and I prefer like the snap snap. And this has got like a thick it's a thicker nylon material. It says Timberwolf right here. But anyway. But it does the job. And overall is 12 and a half inches. So that's not bad for a booby. But anyway. If you want one of these, the uh, model number is TW for Timberwolf. And then 969 for that. And I'm going to leave a link to Bud K so you can buy it over there. Alright. Let's go outside, shall we? And test this out. Alright. We're back over here at the wood pile again. Now, I measured the handle before I came out here, but it's uh, measuring right around four and a half to five inches. So, actually feels good in hand, so now I'm going to Take a piece of uh, small wood and see if I can not chop into it, but like try to make a like a arrow tip or like a stake tip, like a camp spike, in other words. All right, all right. If you guys can see me, I'm gonna take. This piece of wood, and I'm gonna start uh, carving into it. So, and fair warning, these type of knives are really sharp. I tested it already. So, what my dad tested was uh, cutting some hair off of his arm, <laughs> really. But anyway, can it shave? Oh yeah, look at that. So, this thing can definitely shave a whittle.
It's just peeling the bark off like crazy. You should be wearing gloves doing this, but I couldn't give you uh, my honest opinion without holding it. So, can you make a tent spike out of this thing? I'll see why not. Now, I think I'm going to do one of them uh, four foot drops like Donnie does. Just show you the strength of the tip and I'm not going to pry it or nothing. Because I think he had problems with it. Now, if you buy one, you might have a different heat treated one. So, who knows? Oh, yeah. It almost backed up in my hand. I don't want that to happen. Look at that. It chiseled away some bark quick, that's for sure. But I'm going to stop at that right there, so I'm going to move you over to this piece of wood right here, and I'm going to do the drop test, so hold on tightly. Okay. I'm going to do the four-foot drop test, so hopefully it will stick in this piece of wood. If not, it's going to bounce off, so three, two, one. <laughs> Check that out. It went in. Now it's stuck, that gummer. Uh, yeah, mine. It didn't bend, so that's good. I gotta try that again. That was kind of neat. <laughs> right on target, folks. But. If it gets stuck in the wood, just wiggle around. Try not to pry it too much. Wonder if I could do the like the hard or hitting throw. <laughs> no, you don't want to do that. Okay, so I'm wearing different shoes and almost got my foot. But anyway, you guys don't want to see that. But anyway. Uh, you know how Donnie does it where uh, he takes a knife and he just chucks it into the wood or log and it impales itself in the log? Well, that's what I was trying to do, but it didn't work. So I'm going to take you over to my throwing tree. I'm not calling it that because I like throwing knives like Donnie did. but And uh, I'm going to show you if you can actually throw the sucker. So hold on tightly. All right. I'm going to set you guys down right here. You can see, guys see that tree right here. So I'm gonna stand back and I'm gonna see if this thing can, you know, you can throw it or whatever. If not, then it's not a good throwing knife. So we're gonna test the theory out. So. Oh. <laughs> guys saw that, right? Well. It went too low. It landed in the dirt, so. Oh, and I forgot to mention, look. Still got a sharp edge after from chopping or whatever. I'm going to try that one more time, folks. Right, so, let's try that again. <clears throat> you guys see that? I was holding it by the tip, trying to throw it at the tree, and my aim was a little off, and it went into the darn leaves again. So, Donnie, I don't know how you do it, but, man, you always sometimes aim, and you get right on target. Mine keeps going over the place, but anyway. Hold on, let me go find that knife. You guys won't believe it. I just went into the woods, and I was looking around the leaves, and I looked down right near my foot, and it was right there. So, these brown handle knives always like to camouflage in good. If you try to look for this thing at night, good luck. But anyway, 
I'm gonna try that one more time. If not, I'm gonna go do another test. So let's watch, shall we? Hold on, folks, I'm gonna keep practicing. Okay, I've given up on the knife throws, so basically, I would say no on throwing it, but because of this, probably, the way the handle's made is a tad bit heavy, so if it, the balance is off a little bit, so I would not recommend throwing one of these, but if you're better at throwing buoys, then by all means, go for it now. I think we'll try the stab test next, and I'm going to take you over to where we got our old uh, shed doors laying over there, and I'm just going to stab through them and see if it can work. This could be good as a stabber, so hold on. All right. You see this old door right here? Well, I think it's made out of that cheap plywood, so I'm going to save this thing and stab through it. So, wish me luck, and here we go. Yeah, you can stab, that's for sure. <clears throat> I'm not going to go old psycho on you today, but anyway. But Why did I say that? I'm, I'm not a psycho, but can you stab? Oh, yeah. Four foot drop. There you go, I can't stand. Okay. I heard that noise, folks. I thought I broke the tip, but no. Didn't break it, so. I don't know how thick that plywood is, folks, but it was able to stab right through it, so. Alright, we know we can stab. So let's say you're out in the woods and uh, there's no public bathroom. Can this knife dig a uh, poop hole? <laughs> well, let's find out, shall we? All right. All right, you got to stand in the ground, so let's see if we can try cutting up a big, nice hole here. Now, if I suppose, here's a little funny joke for you. If you had diarrhea real bad, Good luck trying to dig a big hole. I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. You could definitely dig yourself a potty hole. <laughs> Alright, folks. I'm going to go over to the picnic table. Give you my final verdict. So, hold on. Alright, folks. I can honestly say that, I hate when cars interrupt, but anyway, uh, I can honestly say that uh, if your life was on the line and you needed something to protect yourself, then I would recommend buying this, but I would say be careful because when I was chopping into it, I forgot to mention right here where the troll's at, the blade kind of hit my finger. And uh, luckily it didn't cut me, but you can feel it when you like trying to shave some spikes or something. But anyway, can it chop? Yes. Nothing too thick, of course, but anyway. Uh, can you do a four foot drop test with this? Yes. Can you knife throw? No. <laughs> well, not in my opinion, but anyway. Somebody else out there will probably prove me wrong, but anyway. Um, just for me, it was like the balance of the handle. It was too heavy back here, so when you throw it, it kind of gave it off balance, you know, and it started going different directions. So something this big, no. Unless you throw it a different way. But anyway, not about that. Can it stab? Yes. It stabbed right through that uh, old plywood uh, or press wood shed doors we had right there. And finally... If you needed to use this to dig a big poop hole, <laughs> then yeah, you probably use it for that. But like I said, if you really had to go, uh, 
you might want to start digging a big, big hole. But anyway, it's <laughs> uh, a little joke for you. But anyway, uh, I bought this knife. I forgot to mention, I bought it just to help uh, Donnie out. I'm not going to give everything away. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave a link to not only Donnie be all day reviewing this knife, but I'm also going to leave the link to the video that he's explaining his little health scare, what's going on basically, and why he's selling off his uh, knives. So, if you guys don't mind helping him out, go to one of his knife sales and see if you can, like, purchase one of his knives to help him out basically. Or you can send money through his PayPal account too. So, I don't have that information, but I think he'll leave it in the link of one of his videos. So, or he'll tell you. So, Donnie, this is for you, man. Thanks for sending the knife over. I really do appreciate it. I did dig this buoy a lot because it kind of reminded me of those old West style buoys that you see in like old cowboy movies and stuff. But maybe one day I'll get a cold steel Frontier buoy and compare it to this one. Because like Donnie said, this was like um, the Frontier buoy's little brother. But without all the fullers and stuff. But anyway, enough about that. Uh, that's going to be it for now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications for more content like this. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. And this has been another successful installment of the Tin Man Collection channel. I'm Jeffrey the Tin Man Taylor. Sayonara. Now I can hear a plane flying over anyway. <laughs> that's all. Bye-bye.